Welcome to Notice Wear Reporter Mobile Edition. We are really excited about this new release. It's been years in the making and now it's finally here. We've studied the competition and spoken to inspectors just like you, listening to what you want, and we believe we've hit a home run. Starting with the fabulous icon that shows up on your Android device, you are just a click away from running an app that will save you time, money, and provide an outstanding inspection report right on the spot. Let me show you what I mean. As you can see, there are a few inspection reports on this device already. Included in the list are some PDF files. These are actual finished reports that have been produced right on the device. From here, you can email the report directly to a client. No need to send it to you the cloud or no paying for monthly hosting fees or services. You just produce the report and get on to your next inspection. And you don't have to worry either if you go into the basement and lose your connection to the internet. Everything you need is on the device. In fact, you can save money turn your data connection off during your inspection. You only need a connection when you're done to email the report to yourself, to your client, or upload it to a cloud service if that's what you want to do. Starting a new inspection is simple. Simply click on the icon at the top of the screen and choose the template that you want to work from. There are two templates that come installed by default with the software, the system by system inspection and the residential room by room inspection. You can download more templates from our website. Take a look to the left to see what's available. I'm going to do the residential room by room inspection and it prompts me for a, a name for the report. I can type in the street name here if I want or anything else. I'm just going to leave it as the date and time. And here we are starting into our report. Now this template is set for a standard four bedroom, three bath home. But it's easy to duplicate, edit, or delete sections that you don't need simply by holding down and you can choose what you want to do or rearrange the sections. You can rearrange subsections and you can rearrange the individual items. I'll show you that as we move along. Now this template could be a little overwhelming because there is so much involved. Essentially we've decided that more is better. Now the thing is if you don't enter something in a section or you don't enter something in an item, that item, section, or subsection doesn't print in your final report. So if there's a section that you don't need, like carport, you actually don't have to delete it, just ignore it and you don't have to fill it out and it won't print in your report. Now, there are over 13,000 quick comments pre-installed for you to choose from, but you only have to say as much as you want to. As you can see, the first sections of the report are the report details and the contact details. And this is where you can enter information in. So the date of the report, the start time, stop time. And this is where you would put in a cover picture um, and the information about the property that you're inspecting. And we'll go back here and the client details, same sort of thing. You're going to enter in the information about the client and who's paying. And there's actually a spot down at the bottom for notes. Those notes would not print in your final report. It's just for your own benefit. Now we're going to get actually into the body of the report. So I'm going to go into the grounds. Um, actually, one thing I'm going to point out here is you see over here, it says 0 of 7, 0 of 16, 0 of 7. That's how many subsections there are in that section. And as I complete these, that number will change. So if I complete three sections, it would say three of seven were completed. Once they're all completed, you'll see a check mark over on the, the section header to show that you've completed that section. So if we click on driveway parking, we can go in and this is what you're going to be looking at. So there's a drop down menu here and here are your quick comments. So you can choose that it was uh, not evaluated um, and that the, well, say it was asphalt. I'm just clicking on anything here just to show you how this works. So there's evidence of settlement heaving. The implications of that are that there's some cracking and the recommendation is that it be repaired, replaced. Now that's all well and good. So you can go through the whole report this way. Um, if you want to add it to the summary, you simply click on the box to add it to the summary and you can choose to flag the item. So if you wanted to follow up on it later or if you needed to add a picture or add a comment, you can flag it and notice where a reporter will remind you before you go to print that you have flagged items that you haven't completed. So when you reach the end of the section and you go to the next section by clicking the arrow up here, it's going to ask you if you want to mark the section as complete and you say yes and it marks it as complete. You can do that manually yourself if you want as well when you're going through but notice where we'll remind you as you're going through the software. And you say okay that's great 13,000 quick comments a lot of comments you know but what if I want to see something that isn't in the quick comments or I want to add a photo to an item? No problem. Simply click on the right arrow beside the item and you can 
The quick comments is still available to you, but you can also add your own comments in by typing using the keyboard, or you can use the voice to text, the voice to text option that Android offers. And you can also add your own personal notes here as well. And again, these notes won't print with the report. They're simply for your own benefit. And you can add your flags here too. So essentially you could walk through the entire report using these arrows up at the top to go back and forth and walk through the entire inspection from this screen. The other tab allows you to enter in your photos. So you can use your cam the device on your camera, or you can use the um, gallery and select pictures that were already in the gallery to put into here. So when you're finished, after you've walked through the entire inspection, um, you can exit back out. I'm just going to click the button here to get back out. And it asks me again. So here you can see it says I've marked two sections complete and it's saying two of seven. Now when you're finished your inspection, all you have to do is click on the PDF button at the top of the screen here. And it's telling me I'm using a trial version of the software. In the trial version, it will actually only produce 60% of the report. But here's where I can choose to produce the full report or produce the summary only. Now, where would you use the summary only option? You'd use that if you're doing a, a report and there's some information you need to research and you're not quite done or you want to do something. Say you've used your digital camera to take photos. So you want to go back to your office and use the desktop version to import those photos and drag and drop them into the report where they need to go no problem. But what if the client is bugging you and saying, look, I have to sign off on my home inspection today and I need to know, you know, what the major art, major problems are so that I can, uh, so that I can make my decision. At that point, you can produce a summary report, which has a disclaimer on it saying it's only the summary and that the full report is going to follow and that it's being produced just for the um, good of the client. But you can produce that summary report and send that to them right away so that they can make their final decision. Or you can produce your full report. Very simple. And then when you walk out, you'll see that the report shows up in your list here and it's got the same file name. If it's the summary, it will say summary. If it isn't, it will just be the, the name of the report. So that's it. You're done. You've done a, a home inspection. You know, this isn't your grandpa's checklist software. Notice where has been has spent the last 15 years developing software focused at end users because we understand that you're not in the business of software development, you're in the business of home inspection. So we want to make the software as easy to use as possible, but we want to be able to use the power of computing that exists today and not just be doing paper checklists that have been transported onto a computer. That's not what this is all about. If you're interested in downloading the software, you can download the Android app from the Google Play Store. You can download the desktop version from noticewarereporter.com and you can go to noticeware.com to purchase the software as well. You know, get noticed where, get noticed.